It's not an alien from another planet. It's a living fossil that has been around for over 300 million years and outlived the dinosaurs. And it has virtually destroyed the fisheries of the Great Lakes of North America. Hello there, and today we have the sea lamprey to review. Don't forget to rate this beauty and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. This is one of the most disgusting yet awesome critters that the ocean has spawned. The sea lamprey looks like a hero from a sci-fi movie, but it is a real creature. It can grow up to 40 inches long and weigh up to 5.1 pounds. An ancient jawless animal with a very strange appearance. Its long worm-like body is densely covered with mucus, seven holes on each side, and a scary round mouth in the form of a suction cup, and hiding inside are a sharp ring of teeth. Add to that the fact that it has no bones, no paired fins, no stomach, and it's a parasite. And it's quite creepy. Lampreys attack fish by digging into their body with their sharp teeth and can knock them down. The mouth sucker with the ring of teeth inside can grab the fish and scrape off its scales. A lamprey can suction to any fish, and once it quickly clings to it, this creature comes into action. The main teeth of this hunter reaches forward and cuts a hole in the fish's body, and then the lamprey begins its real evil work. An anticoagulant is injected into the blood, preventing it from clotting, and the parasite can swim with the fish for several days like this. It's all very scary, of course. At the same time, it can breathe because the gills of the lamprey are not connected to its mouth. These seven holes on each side are gill ducts that act like pumps. They contract, taking in and releasing water, thus allowing the lamprey to breathe. This allows it to keep its mouth occupied with more important things. Often a single fish is attacked by several lampreys at once and leaves marks like these on its body. Sometimes when pulling a fish to the shore, you can find this creature on it. They are able to attack even such predators as pikes, and six out of seven fish die from the attack of these parasites, and not from the loss of blood, but from the infection that gets into the wounds. The lamprey itself is covered with thick mucus, which makes its body inaccessible to pests, and it is also very difficult to hold it in your hands. People who have experienced the suction power of the lamprey say that it is stronger than the most powerful vacuum cleaner, so it is almost impossible for a fish to get rid of it. Even Coyote Peterson has experienced the action of such a toothy suction cup, and it was certainly not pleasant. These creatures in the 50s destroyed almost all fishing in the Great Lakes of North America. But what is interesting is they got there with the help of Ban, initially dwelling in the Atlantic Ocean, but by 1835 were able to get into Lake Ontario through a dugout shipping channel. Niagara Falls was for a long time a natural barrier to lampreys entering other lakes. But after the construction and deepening of the canal, the way was open for these creatures. From 1921 to 1939, they took over all the Great Lakes, making it a living hell. The delicate trout died almost immediately after contact with these monsters, and fish production dropped to almost zero. Moreover, lampreys stopped returning to the ocean, having adapted to fresh water. They simply forgot their way there. That's when people began to actively fight the invaders. They used special dams on streams, catching lampreys both mechanically and electronically, as well as chemical compounds to destroy their larvae. And it had very good results, reducing the population of these marine worms to a quite comfortable level. But other non-parasitic species of lampreys suffered. Our villain does not behave so badly all the time. For example, after hatching from eggs, they look like this, small, blind, and without mouths. At this stage, they are completely harmless. The larvae simply burrow into the mud or sand and live there for several years. 
all they do is filter the water, getting nutrients from it, and this period can last for up to eight years, depending on the intensity of feeding. After which, metamorphosis occurs. They have eyes, and the mouth cap is replaced by a suction cup with many teeth. Now they are ready to hunt. The sea lamprey lives only one year in this active phase. During this time, each hunter will kill approximately 40 pounds of fish, after which they stop feeding and find small streams to breed in. Despite the fact that lampreys have only one nostril located on the top of the head, their nasal organ is about twice the size of the brain, and they are true floating noses, so they choose a stream by the odor left by the larvae and adult sexually mature males that appeared last year. The current here is fast, so lampreys often rest securely clinging onto some rock. In the same way, they bring stones to their future nests. Lampreys can drag stones twice as heavy as their own weight. The construction of the nest is done by the female, who digs a hole in the sand and lays up to 100 eggs there, and the male during mating can suck onto the back of the female's head with his mouth, and in a few weeks after spawning, all lampreys die. By this time, the larvae has already been hatched from the eggs, and the cycle of these unusual creature begins anew. This very terrible but no less amazing creature lives on our planet. And I hope this kept your interest and that you liked it. Hit the thumbs up and write in the comments what you think about these creatures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.